again, this is Andrew Guy, and today we're just trying to make science more practical. What we're going to do today, what you will learn is, we're going to just talk briefly about um, the states of matter, and basically the different phases that matter may go through. And all we're going to talk about today is just um, solid, liquid, gas, that type of thing. All right? So here we go. Come on. If you're ready to learn, let's do it. All right, so first thing you want to do is you just want to draw a box and leave an opening in between here. Leave an opening in between when you do your box. And inside here, I'm going to put the word do. All right, and out here, I'm going to put happen. All right, for something to happen, you must do something, okay? So let's go ahead and put S right here, L right here, G right here and L right here. So my question to you is this. I have a solid right now. What do I have to do, do to turn it into a liquid? Okay, I must heat it. Okay, so when I heat it, what happens to the ice? When I heat ice, melt happens. All right, so I'm gonna put melt here. Remember, do goes in here, happens on the outside. When I heat ice, melt happens, gives me liquid. So now I'm here at the liquid state. What do I have to do to take my liquid and turn it into a gas? What do I have to do? Exactly. I'm going to increase the heat. So when I increase the heat, it leads from the liquid state to the gaseous state. But okay, what happens? We call that process evaporation. All right, let's recap. I have a block of ice. When I do heat, melt happens. I still have now liquid now, because I left from the solid state, I'm now in liquid. If I have a liquid, in order for me to turn it into a gas, I have to do heat or increase the heat, evaporation happens. Now that I have my gas, what do I have to do to turn it into a liquid? Exactly. So I have to go ahead and cool it down. So I'm going to write C-I-D for short. So you remember the song that says, cool it down, you got to cool it down, cool it down. All right, I didn't get a warning for my singing. Anyway, you're not going to see me on the Grammy. But anyway, so I have a gas and I cool it down or reduce the heat to turn it into a liquid. But remember, what happens when I cool down? I do cool down, but what happened? Condensation happened. All right? So I cool it down, but condensation happened. Now, I have a liquid now. What do I need to do to turn my liquid into a solid? All I have to do is actually remove I remove the heat or increase the cool down, all right? This would mean you would put it into a place that is cold with a reduced temperature. So what I would do right now is gonna have a, it's gonna freeze. So I do here happens on the outside. Do inside happens, happens on the outside of the box. Again, do in the box, the result happened on the outside. Let's recap. I have a solid, I do heat, melt happen. Now I have a liquid, I increase heat, I do heat, then evaporation happen, turns it into a gas. Now I have a gas, I do cool down or reduce the temperature, then condensation happen. Condensation happened, now I have a liquid, so now I need to what? Remove the heat. That's what I do, and it turns into what? Solid. And what happens? Freeze happen. All right? So that right there is talking about the states of matter. And again, my name is Andrew Guy, and I'm here to just make science a little bit more practical. Again, take care. Leave us a comment. Let us know if these videos have been helping. Take care.